Hello everyone, I'm Yana, a patient consultation expert at Wannabe Toller team. Our team is specialized in orthopedic surgeries such as limb lengthening, limb shortening, limb discrepancy, limb deformity correction, and other orthopedic conditions. So we provide medical amenities for patients from all over the world and make them feel safe and comfortable with the qualified facilities we offer. So today's video is about the surgery scars and how we can make them minimize with natural ways or other alternative treatments which I will be mentioning. Okay, so the potential of scarring exists whenever the skin is damaged. For instance, picking your scab on your finger or on your knee repeatedly can leave a scar that lasts a lifetime. Once you damage the area, there is not mostly turning back point. So same thing goes for the surgery as well, especially considering cosmetic limb lengthening surgery can be counted for that. Regardless of where on the body surgery is performed or why it is performed, making an incision, which generally requires cutting through all layers of the skin, can result in scarring. Although the surgery done by a less skilled surgeon may result in more scarring, the surgeon's expertise sometimes does not have impact on the amount of scarring that occurs. The reason why is that there are some factors which determine whether you are scarred badly after the procedure or not. So let's move on with the factors. Alright, let's continue with the factors. For instance, your age. As you may know, the fat layer beneath our skin thins as we age, and collagen changes and reduces as we get older. Inherited tendency to scar. You may have a sensitive skin which a scarring can occur easily when you hit somewhere or cut, or maybe the cosmetic products that you use uh, might have sensitized the skin. The size, depth, and the location of the incision, also the duration of healing as well. For instance, a large incision is much more likely to leave a scar than a small incision. Uh, you may minimize it as much as you can, yet you cannot make exact scars disappear for good. So in order to make scarring minimized before you do a surgery, you may try to abide some instructions in advance. Okay, so the first one is no smoking. It slows down your healing process, so avoid it as much as you can. The next one Avoiding alcohol, so since it dehydrates the body as well as the skin, it may decrease your general health. So staying hydrated, okay, so like this is the most important one. Water is our body's companion in achieving the critical phases that allow us to recover fast. Alright, so drink water as much as you can please. And the next one is improving your nutrition. So eating healthy diet is essential and I would like to stress out mostly on protein. It is significant to supply your body with adequate protein, for example chicken, pork, fish, uh, seafood, beef, dairy product products to allow your skin to recover. And the next one, paying attention on your weight. So you may ask like why it is important in scarring. So being overweight might be a huge problem because the more fat there is under the skin, the deep incisions are made by the surgeon. Besides, closing the incisions seamlessly will need great effort. And the next one and the last one, watching your chronic illnesses. By saying that, there are some diseases which can slow down the healing process, such as diabetes and immunodeficiency conditions. Thus, your illness should be well controlled under the supervision of your doctor before you do the surgery. So if the instructions that I mentioned are inadequate in some way, 
uh, and you're quite disturbed with the scarring, so you may head for trying cosmetic treatments. Okay, so surgical treatments. The most invasive kind of procedure is surgical scar removal. Your doctor can refer you to a surgeon who can assess your scar and conduct a treatment to make it less noticeable. A surgeon, for example, can shrink a large scar or use skin from another part of your body to cover the scarred area. This treatment is preferred mostly for large scars, but in limb lengthening surgeries, you will not have that quite amount of scar. So, okay, so let's move on with the second one, laser treatment. So compared to surgical treatments, laser scar removal is an effective, non-invasive option for scar treatment. Dermatologists use strong light to shrink scars and change their color, shape and size. Different types of laser removal are more successful for treating different types of scars, so uh, you may consider it before you do the surgery as well. And the next one is chemical peels. A chemical solution will be applied to the scarred region of your skin by a dermatologist. A layer of skin pulls away as the peel is removed, revealing a smoother layer of skin behind. Chemical peels are ideal for surface scars and require repeated treatments, so it will not enough to do just like one session to treat your scar. Alright, the next one, injections. Okay, so steroid injections can reduce the size of scars that rise above the surface of your skin allowing them to blend in with the rest of your skin. Dermal fillers or collagen injections, for example, can be used to fill up the area around a deep scar. And last one is ointments. For mild scarring, ointments are a suitable option. Dermatologists can prescribe scar therapy gels that are more effective. Let's see some examples from limb lengthening surgeries that have been performed on some of our patients. Alright, so let's move on. Alright, as you see, the picture on the left side is from Ellen Method. So the scar is fresh and two months pass after the surgery. The picture on the right side is from Precise 2.2 Method. It has been almost six months after the surgery. So you can see the scars are faded away. And Precise 2.2 and Stride are the ones which are preferred most in terms of scarring, of course, compared to Ellen Method. And it doesn't mean that uh, the scars do not fade away with Ellen Method. It will gradually and it will be less noticeable. Luckily, our surgeon excels at stitching and thus the scarring will not appear that much. And in terms of reducing or minimizing scarring with cosmetic treatments, you must definitely consult a specialist. And as one of the taller team, if the scars affect your self-esteem negatively, we can assist you to find the most qualified specialist with regard to scar treatments. Alright, so as you see, the left one is from Ellen Method. And... The right one is from Precise. So the left ones are from LON and the right one is from Precise. So as you see, uh, with Precise methods, you will have less scar marks. But the thing is, it will just like fade away gradually and slowly. And thanks for watching us and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Hopefully we will make new videos about the uh, procedures and also other types of treatments related to the limb lengthening surgeries. So take care.